Good afternoon, everybody. Pace and Pete here. Uh, a little bit of a different kind of video this evening. Tomorrow, uh, which today is Tuesday, the 16th. Tomorrow is October the 17th, which marks exactly two years since I uploaded my very first YouTube video. And in fitting fashion, this is the third take of me starting this video because I knocked down this helmet over here one time and the other time my kids are screaming downstairs, which completely sums up the entire past two years here on YouTube. But what I want to do is uh, I want to thank some people. I mean, there's no way I could possibly thank everybody that has either helped me out on YouTube, uh, everybody that's ever liked a video, everybody that's ever shared a video, everybody that's ever commented. I mean, that's a, it's, it's impossible to do that. But I do want to give you a little bit of history as much as, you know, this is not football related and some of you may not care, but it, it, it matters to me. Listen, I'm too old. I'm 39 years old. I'm too old to celebrate birthdays anymore. But the birthday of this YouTube channel is very young. So we celebrate two-year-olds' birthdays, right? So I'll celebrate the two-year uh, anniversary of this uh, YouTube channel. Now, you know, one of the things I've had to ignore on YouTube since I've been on here is people that come on here and say, this guy's only got 2,000 subscribers. Well, first of all, I've been hearing that since I had 200 subscribers. This guy's only got 200 subscribers. Who cares what he thinks? Then it was, this guy's only got 500 subscribers. Who cares what he thinks? Then it was, this guy's only got 1,000 subscribers. Who cares what he thinks? He's a nobody. Now it's 2,000. Now it's 2,500. Now it's 2,600. And um, so nobody's ever going to care what you think. And I don't expect anybody to really care what I think. But I like to think, I like to hope that somewhere along the way that I've entertained some of you. Because I think it gets lost in translation sometimes. Sometimes I watch back my videos when I'm editing them because I don't like watching myself on video. Um, I mean, I, I don't ever watch my, old, my videos unless I'm editing them. And sometimes I see how I come off. You know, everybody can probably relate to this, right? If you've ever been on a video, whether it's somebody's camera phone or, you know, on a VHS tape back in the day when they're recording you and you're going, oh God, cr cringe. I can't believe I look like that. I can't believe I sound like that. I can't believe I came off like that. Well, when you've got a YouTube channel, magnify that times a million. I don't like the way I look on camera. I don't like the way I sound on camera. And a lot of times I come off as a pompous asshole, a jerk, uh, a shit talker, whatever you, whatever you want to call it, but you've got to get over that if you're on YouTube. And I'm, what I've tried to do, I've tried and, and failed a lot of times is just be myself. Some people are going to love it. Some people are going to hate it. All right. I mean, I, I make these videos, um, where I, where I put the, the, the rap music on there, right. And the tech nine music, um, and some say, oh, this guy, you, you know, with this rap music, this, this vulgar rap music, uh, what a loser. Who's, who's he trying to impress? Listen, that's, that's just, that's me. Th that music you're hearing when I, when I play those videos is the same music I've been listening to my entire life. The same music I love. So it's, it's not fake. Nothing I say on here is fake. My persona is not fake. You can ask anybody who's met me in real life. And, and some of you have, uh, thankfully I've made some friends with some people here on YouTube. I'm the same guy right here. You see right now as I am in person period in story there's no fakeness uh there's no persona i am who i am and it is what it is and i'm not for everybody but i want to say this though i want to thank all the subscribers first of all i mean obviously i'm proud i'm proud of 2500 subscribers what, what i don't even know what it is now 2600 i don't even know i don't even know what it is maybe it's 2000 260 I don't know they, they YouTube change your thing here's the bottom line I'm proud of all of them after two years if you would have asked me two years ago would I have 2,000 or even a thousand subscribers I would have said no because I never planned on it being that so I'm proud of it I'm proud of every single last one of them period you might not you might think that's a low number to me I'm surprised anybody watches me so I want to thank all the subscribers. A lot of you guys have been here since day one. A lot of you are new. If you're new, thank you. I appreciate you just as much. Stick around. I'm sure I won't piss you off for at least two or three more weeks. But I appreciate all of them. 
Some of you guys, I know who the OGs are. If Even if you don't comment all the time, even if you only comment every once in a while, um, I know who the ones that have been here since the beginning are. And I'll never, ever take you for granted. All the people that have ever donated to the channel, whether it's through Super Chat uh, or Patreon or subscribing to uh, becoming a member of howardsrock.net, uh, the people that have signed up for bet now, um, every single penny that anybody has ever out of sheer gratuity donated to the channel has helped. It's helped the channel grow. If you listen, if you guys have been here for the past two years, you know, this is how I used to do my videos. This was it. A phone and this, I talked into the phone, I still do it sometimes, but talking into the phone, that was it. If it weren't for people donating at all, I'd still be doing this. And in the future, I, I plan on, on growing even further, both here on YouTube and, of course, on howardsrock.net and volunteerroadshow.com and, and FanBride. Uh, but everybody that's ever donated a single dollar, I mean, I, I mean, there's no really way I could pay you back except for to keep doing the content that hopefully entertains you. All the callers and the call-in shows, I mean, there's been days that I do these call-in shows where nobody calls right? Maybe it's at the wrong time. Maybe the, maybe I'm just not that interesting. I don't know. There's also been days when I've had too many callers to handle, which is a great problem to have. But everybody that's ever called and contributed to the channel, whether it's through comments or calls, I mean, I don't know how, I, there's no way I could ever pay you for that. Anybody that contributes to the value of the channel and the content on the channel, there's no way I can repay you. Uh, let's talk about some of the YouTubers. I think it's first and foremost, a close friend of mine, Bobby Durkins, another Clemson YouTuber who has become a really good friend of mine. I talk to him weekly. We do shows on howardsrock.net, but we also, even before that howardsrock.net uh, show started, we still talked weekly. Uh, one of the best men that you'll ever meet in your life. Funny guy, very talented guy too. Uh, outside of YouTube, he, he's a talented musician. He's a talented comic. Uh, most people, you know, they, they look at him and say, oh, this guy just done redneck on on YouTube. I can't, I can't listen to him with that dumb redneck voice. Believe me, <laughs> he's 10 times talented, more talented than Pigskin Pete is on any given day of the week. Uh, the guy's hilarious and uh, vastly, vastly underrated too. Um, Catfish. Listen, Catfish has been one of my closest friends on YouTube since the channel started. He was one of the first people to invite me on his show, give me exposure. We started around the same time, but he, he had a lot more traction than I did. And now he's a brother in arms. So this Howard's Rock.net deal, this is all catfish. The bet now thing, that's all catfish. Um, this guy works hours and hours a week behind the scenes contributing to me. Now I work hours and hours, you know, contributing to, to the cause, but he does this at, you know, he believed in me and he brought me on. And uh, he is also another guy who's very extremely smart and talented. And uh, I, there's no way I could ever pay him for what he's uh, done for me. Uh, Spencer from Rover Sports also does a show with me. He's another one of the first ones I met on YouTube who also had me on his channel. Gave me some exposure when I had like 10 subscribers. Uh, so thank you to him. He's an amazing and fantastic uh, video maker and, um, and a good friend as well. Um, Uncle Lou, you know, Uncle Lou has been somebody that I, I've looked up to. I've been, you know, here's, here's the reality. You know, for the first couple of years, especially in the first six months or so, Everybody came on my channel and said, this guy's just a ripoff of Uncle Lou. This guy's a fake Uncle Lou. Um, and, and I used to take offense to that. Um, I don't anymore because I just let, you know, any of these negative comments, I, I let it wash off my back. But the reality is, um, I, I, I'll never be Uncle Lou. I, I'm not trying to be Uncle Lou. Never have been tried to be Uncle Lou. It, people see the backwards hat. People see the sunglasses. And they say, oh, this guy's ripping off Uncle Lou. And the fact that we both talk shit a lot. Uh, I guess that, you know, that, that leads people to believe that uh, somehow I'm trying to copy him. Uh, but I guarantee you this, and I don't know, you know, Uncle Lou could probably tell you himself um, either way. I, I, I doubt that Uncle Lou would give me the time of day or talk to me or talk to me off air or do shows with me if he thought I was trying to rip him off. Um, but are there some similarities between me and, me and Uncle Lou? Yeah, we're both about the same age. We both have a diehard uh, care for our team. Yeah, and we both love sunglasses, apparently. Um, um, no offense to Uncle Lou. <laughs> I've been wearing sunglasses a lot longer than YouTube's even existed. Uh, but anyway, Uncle Lou's been nothing short of amazing and fantastic to Pigskin Pete. Nice, super nice guy. 
on and off the air and a very talented uh, YouTuber and an inspiration too. Um, all the guys, now speaking of Uncle Lou, all of the guys that did the behind the camera series with me in this past off season, that was an idea that I came up with to have on YouTubers and talk about stuff other than football. And I did a series of 10 videos with those guys. And those are some of my favorite videos that I've ever done. Um, and some of the older ones where I was just talking into my phone and doing crazy editing and, and outtakes and stuff like that. Those, those are some of my favorite things to do. They're not the, the coolest videos if you're a viewer, but as far as a make video maker, definitely some of the coolest things I've ever done. But, but these behind the camera people, I, I was shocked that some of my, all, all 10 of those, some of my 10, 10 of my favorite video makers on YouTube, I reached out to all of them with the exception of one person who will go unnamed and nameless. They all accepted immediately and planned a time and came on and told their story unedited and, and lived up to the hype plus that. Now, those type of videos on YouTube, when you have a sports channel or a particular uh, college football channel or an NFL channel or whatever, those type of videos, people are here for football. They're not here to listen to what Joe Schmo is doing about his YouTube channel back in 2013. But these guys came on and were unedited and gave me their story. And it was fascinating, fascinating to me that they would do that and do that for me. And that was humbling too, that they would, you know, every person I asked to do this was like, I'd love to come on your show. Yeah, I love you, Pete. And so, I mean, I, I, what's cooler than that? If you're, if you're a, uh, a YouTuber for, for guys to do that. So again, if I did not thank you in this video, I'm sorry. There's too, way too many people to thank. Uh, believe me, I'm sure as soon as this video is uploaded or in, in the coming days and weeks, I will be thinking, oh, I should have thanked this person. I should have thanked that person. It's just, it's just not possible. Uh, but at the end of the day, I thank all of you, even the Gamecock fans. I get, you know, it's hard to separate trash talk from, from real life. Um, I'm not, <laughs> I know I look like a jerk a lot on, on video. I just told you that that's the way I, I view myself as, as well uh, when I edit these videos. But um, it's just not true. I'm not a jerk. I mean, in real life, I, I try to be an upstanding guy, a nice guy to everybody I meet. If, if I were to meet you in person, it would be the same way. Uh, even if you're a, a Michigan fan or an Ohio State fan or a South Carolina fan or whatever. Um, but anyway, so here's the two years in the books. Here's the great things to come in the future. Thank you to all of you. And um, that's it. Happy birthday, Pigskin Pete YouTube channel. See you guys next time. Pigskin Pete checking out.